Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Hope everyone had the best Christmas they possibly could have had, you know, considering this new way of living that we have right now. I'm not going to say what it is because apparently for some reason YouTube uh, likes to, like, I don't know, take your video down if you say it. So I'm not going to. But I uh, hope you guys had a great Christmas, uh, as best as you could possibly have it. Mine was kind of small this year. Uh, we didn't have a lot of people over as far as uh, friends go. We had some family. Um, it was kind of, like I said, it was kind of, of a small Christmas, but uh, it was nice. It was comfortable. Um, we do the old-style Italian Christmas where we have the squid, spaghetti, so spaghetti sauce, um, calamari, and then we do the, well, this might gross you guys out. So here's a picture of octopus that is on the grill. Yeah, we marinate them overnight um, in a, oh, wasabi vinegar, I think it's called, um, or something like that. And then uh, overnight, next day, throw them on the grill, cook them up real good. Then we do oysters, Rockefeller, which is... Uh, just hollandaise sauce with uh, spinach on top of that, stuffed mushrooms, stuffed clams. Um, then we do the shrimp. And uh, what else do we do? The king crab legs we end up having. So it, it's kind of quite a bit of food. But the old Italian style, you know, it's a lot of seafood that, uh, oh, and then the mussels we do as well. Uh, old Italian style is the seafood. Um, a little bit on the expensive side, but you know, once a year it's well worth it, and we kind of like put together something and you know have a nice Christmas dinner. And that's basically what uh, the present is for the adults. And you know, Christmas is pretty much mostly about kids. So my kid, however, uh, did pretty good. You know, she came out like a bandit. The only problem was is I'm kind of glad I did not ship the SX. Christmas guitar, which that's already boxed up and ready to go. Um, I'm going to ship that out this week. Um, the mail, UPS, I mean, everything has been running really, really slow. Been watching the news. I mean, some packages are getting damaged. Some packages aren't even showing up. Some packages are running really, really late. Uh, I've got, was it two from eBay and three from Amazon that haven't showed up for my daughter for uh, Christmas yet. And uh, so she'll be having Christmas after Christmas, too. So, yeah. Fun fun times we are living in right now. So what I have here is, this is my Gold Top Chipson electric guitar. Now, this thing has been pretty good. I mean, I haven't had any problems with it, no issues. Um, other than tuning stability, it's been kind of iffy with it. And uh, I've been kind of watching things and stuff, and come to find out that it's not the guitar in general's fault it's more of the tuners fault that are on here so what I ended up doing is I started getting started getting some gold parts for this thing you know gold top gold hardware and stuff so these are the tuners that were on here which I never took these things off because I actually felt like they were pretty good um well these are trash these are garbage these are cheap China tune tuners and yeah I'm getting sawdust all over the place because I had to open up the holes for the new tuners that are going in, which are Gold Grovers. So I have a set of Gold Grover tuners, and uh, these came off of a Epiphone, and uh, I held on to them. You know, save parts. It's always a good thing to save parts. So on top of that, I have a brand new Gold Roller Bridge, and I have a Gold tailpiece that will be going on this thing. Um, what else is gold? Oh yeah. A set of gold P90 humbucker sized. So that will be going on this. Now, what I have on here right now is a set of Seymour Duncans. These are the Slash, um, you know, the Guns N' Roses, the guitar player Slash. So what I'm doing now is I'm locating the pickups and desoldering them from here and uh, I'm going to put in a set of these P90s. So that's what I'm going to end up doing with this. Uh, kind of like, I got scuffed. This thing is dirty as hell. I kind of play around with this thing a little bit. That's how I know that the tuners were pretty shitty on this thing. And uh, the uh, neck has been holding up. Now, a lot of people give uh, these chips and guitars a bad rap because of the fact of that, well, they're chips and okay. And 
a lot of people are having problems to where uh, they don't hold up as far as being a guitar. Uh, the wood has some problems with it. Um, hardware definitely has problem with it. The electronics is not all that great. So people are doing using these as bare bones and basically kind of upgrading everything inside there. Then later on come to find out that uh, the neck joint cracks or this happens, the headstock cracks, this happens. You know, it's just a bunch of different things that could happen, has happened, and may even happen to this one. So far, this has been a good guitar. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, I'm not jamming out in, in gigs or concerts or whatever. I'm not. You know, I'm nowhere near the ability to play like that. But uh, it's been banging around a little bit, and it's still holding up pretty good. I mean, it's not scratched up. It's not chipped up. It's not nicked up. It's not banged up. I mean, it's just. It's not bad at least that's my thoughts of it other people may differ and you know what kind of agree with you up to a point too so so what i got going on is i have to locate the pickup wires that are inside here the way that i wired this out and desolder them and start soldering in the uh p90s and uh yeah so these are if you watch that one video about the zebra striped guitar the les paul kit these are the kit pickups that were in there so i'm going to be using these pickup rings i know i've got some inside of the my box but i'm not going to use those so why should i use my new ones so i'm going to go ahead and clean my soldering gun get inside here i need my glasses for this because i am going blind All right, so that's the bridge, Seymour Duncan, as you can see, it says, whoop, upside down, Seymour Duncan, you can see that, and uh, Made in America, yeah. Now, these aren't bad pickups, I wouldn't say that they're bad, and uh, I might do a giveaway on these, who knows. So that's one pickup that's taken out. Now, let me see my P90s here. I highly doubt these are marked as neck and bridge so I ended up going through uh, guitar guitar madness is the eBay store that I went through for these things and they got some pretty good reviews so I figured you know what why not let's try them out all right so these are not marked as far as who they what they are is so I'm gonna go by polarity or not polarity but I'm going to go by the, uh, yeah, see, these are not marked. Yeah, nice, nice P90s. Now I'm going to take the tape off of here. So you kind of see where I'm going with the black and gold. Black and gold. Black, gold, black, gold, gold, black. So I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, multimeter out, and I'm going to check to see which one of these guys is hotter they did change the wires so the wiring here has got to mean something right all right let's see what the ohms are on this one here all right so this one is a 753 753 yeah so let's see what the black wired one would be same here. Seven seventy six is the black wire. So seven seventy six. So the black wire would be your bridge pickup, and the white wire would be your neck pickup. All right. So that sounds good to me. All right. So I've got the pickup rings already taken off the kick guitar pickups and put on these humbucker size p90s i like the way these things look i like, I like the way it looks I like it looks pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and start fishing wires through here because i've got to connect this connect this up to the pots 
and start mounting things. So let's go ahead and fish this through here. I think this has enough wire to, yeah, it's got plenty of wire to do what I need it to do. Now are my holes going to line up with the, yeah, everything lines up. All right, so I'll go ahead and fish this through here. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount that pickup ring. So I've got some screws here. Let's find my pickup rings. These are gold screws. Again, matching the black and gold. Alright, looks like I got what I need. Oh, there's one more. Back in this bag. Dropping them all over the place. I'm going to use a jeweler screwdriver now to check these to make sure that none of these are difference in size, which they're not. They're all the same length, so that's good. Go ahead and start these. I don't know why, but I've always, when it comes to putting in screws and stuff, I always crisscross. I always go across from each other. I guess that's because of the car audio, putting in speakers and stuff. I always put in one screw and then go across to the opposite side and put the second screw in and keep doing it that way to, as a pattern. Now, I'm going to cheat here. I'm not going all the way down with these. I will snug them up the rest of the way with the screwdriver. That's that. All right, so I've got my wire. This is going to be neck position, so fish this through. So neck position is at the top, uh, bridge is at the bottom. You don't need that much wire for a ground. So I'm going to get rid of some of that. Get my glasses because I'm half blind. Move these guys off to the side. Move this off to the side. Get my needle nose and start soldering. Now there's quite a bit of solder in solder, but I want to tin up that wire first. It's always a good thing to do. Make sure you clean your soldering tool, iron, gun, whatever you want to call it. Tin up these wires a little bit. Go ahead and tack that up down here, moving everything out of the way so I can see. Get this guy out of the way, it's another ground. Simple as that. Pull this way around through here. I'm going to have to connect that to the terminal on the pot. Put some solder on that. Reconnect my grounds here. Connect this ground over here. I add some solder to that too. So tin it, tin it up a little bit. So I got 
over down under. connection all right that's neck pickup is done now let's get that bridge pickup in there And fishing through here. This I'm going to have to shorten up a little bit. Tilt this over on its side. Now, where are you at? So I heard you go through. Where'd you go? So that's that. Go ahead and put my screws in here. So got my gearbox running. I'm going to use the wireless system here. Plug that in. Flip this around. Volume tones are all up. And let's see what kind of noise these things make. I got my headphones on you guys. So that's that, they work. Swap these guys out. Now I'm just gonna leave the chrome posts in there. That's you're probably not gonna really see that too much anyways. Unplug this now. Close up gearbox. Why is this one tight? That shouldn't be tight in there. Too big of a screwdriver. So those can go off to the side. Keep those with the stock stuff that was here. I'm gonna make sure that this bridge is gonna fit this thing. Supposed to, I don't see why I wouldn't. Nope, drops right in. Perfect. Yep, drops right in there. And then the tail piece. I'm not going to use the sleeves. Slides right in there. All right. 
Next, I've got... Now again, don't throw these away. Save them, because you might need them for something else. Next on my list, i got to pop these out, because i got a little something for them. So where's my prime tool for this? If I can do this, oh, easy. I'm using my finger for wedging it. And again, I won't be throwing these away, I'll be holding on to these. I'll always use them on something else. So, what I have. I went over to my local music store and uh, picked up some goodies for this puppy. So, running this short on strings, so I picked up a couple packs of tens and a couple packs of nines. Uh, also, picked up gold speed knobs and a gold plate for the output jack. <clears throat> oh, don't need to see that. Don't need to see how much I paid for it. Because I did not pay $15.99.95 for a set of these guys, and I did not pay $9.95 or $5.95 for pens, or $5.95 for nines. They like me over there, so I get a lot of this stuff at cost. So all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these guys on all parts. Hopefully they fit with no problem. Looks like they might. They might. Because these are short shaft. I think these are long shaft, but I think I can adjust. I think I got room for adjustment here. No, maybe not. All right, so there was a little Allen key here. Where did it go? Little tiny thing. Here it is. Let's see if this is the same same size Allen screw. Oh, these are jeweler screwdrivers. I need this. So what I like to do with these, turn them all the way up, and I like to get the screw right between, right between the, uh, make sure I can raise this up so I can turn them, they're not going to rub, oh beautiful, get that screw right between the split. Nice. <clears throat> See here, raise it up just a hair. Where are you? Can't see it. Glasses. Here, so I can turn it and it's not resting on top of the guitar body. There you go. Nice. Size, so let's fix that. Am I hitting where it's supposed to? Yeah, I am. That's better. 
And then the last one. Helps to turn these in a little bit. Raise this up a little bit so it's not going to rub the body. Come on, get that screw in there. Okay, so you get the idea. Gold, gold, stay. Gold, 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 gold screws, gold, gold screws. Black, 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 black. Headstock's black. So I get the idea. And then it'll be a black out or a gold output check once I get that. We're done. So there you go. There you have it. And I'll be doing the finishing up with this thing as far as the headstock goes and putting the gold tuners in. Right now I kind of have to wait for glue to dry before I can redrill new holes for the mounting screws. Um, everything else is pretty much done. So I can go ahead and put my soldering gun away. Thanks for watching guys. Again, I appreciate it. Remember, one of the things that uh, I've been saying, because a lot of people have been asking, is basically about the Christmas Kramer. The Christmas Kramer giveaway is still going on right now. Um, yeah, so uh, again, with the shipping and everything else, I'm kind of glad I waited with uh, the giveaways before I shipped them out. And the Christmas Kramer will be the next contest in line. So stay tuned for that pretty soon. Uh, I want to ship everything out first and uh, get everything else done before I uh, you know, start that contest. So again, enter if you like. It's still going on. Thanks a lot. And uh, catch up with you guys later. Thanks.